Mr. Rachan Khanijo. Mr. Rachan Khanijo is Vice President, Marketing of Aras Digital. He is currently spearheading the brand building and content marketing aspect of the organization's OTT platform Eras Now. He has more than a decade experience in media entertainment and digital space. Having vast working experience, he has previously worked with Z Entertainment Enterprises Limited and TV and Ycom 18, Colors TV, Sony TV. He has diverse understanding of broadcast and agency. Mr. Rachan Khanijo has been a founder member of the leading Hindi GECs, Colors and Ant TV. It's a pleasure to welcome Mr. Rachan Khanijo at IMA Conclave 2019. Welcome, sir. So good afternoon, everybody. It's a pleasure to meet the audience here. Well, uh, when I was asked to you know, talk here about a topic on rebuilding for the next generation, the first thought was, what am I going to say? Where am I going to find this? Well, uh, before I share my thoughts with you on rebuilding for the next generation, let me introduce myself. Already the AV has done it, though. It's part of my speech. <laughs> okay. I have about 15 years of experience in the media and entertainment industry. Over the years, you know, the most important thing that I've learned, you know, through my varied startup and innovative content launches is that there was a time brands were catering to a need gap that existed in the category. With the changing times, if a brand has to enter the category, it's got to nudge and create the space. So when we are talking about changing times and the, the plot of about the generation next, who exactly is this generation? What do they do? Where do they stay? What are their key traits like? Clearly, these people are go-getters. They dream big. They want to convert their hobbies into full-time jobs. They have a sense of urgency in everything that they do. Well, they like to take the offerings, or they want the offerings to be catered, or rather to be certainly customized to their tastes and preferences. They have clearly global aspirations. And they also take inspirations from the world. They connect with brands which create experiences. So how do we rebuild and market the offering to a generation next which has such key traits? A common answer that mostly one would get essentially is let's research, ask consumers. A very popular quote from Steve Jobs said, don't ever ask the consumer what he wants because by the time you will create and build for him or her, they will want something else. So what's the starting point? How do I rebuild? How do I cater to the generation next who is a go-getter, who is, has a sense of urgency, everything he does? OK, clearly, the points that one has to look at is adaptability, flexibility, and innovation. I came across a brand story, which I would like to share with you. In the Western world, there was a brand which wanted to enter the category of coffee shops coffee bars. Coffee as a lifestyle, when it started off, people started having coffee as a drink, as an experience, a caffeine shot. Then came coffee shops. It became a destination for people to meet, have a good time. In today's fast-paced world, today people look at a coffee shop as a meeting joint to have a quick meeting and move to the work. So in this scenario, a brand has to enter in a category which is cluttered, coffee, which is similar, pricing, which is more or less the same. How do I cater to the generation? How do I ensure that they notice me? And how do I ensure that they sample me? So what does this brand do? This brand, when it launched, it said, coffee and internet for free. You only pay for the time that you spend at the coffee shop. What clearly this brand did is it adapted to the lifestyle of the audience, of the fast-paced lifestyle of the audience, by making it a meeting joint. What it essentially did is give flexibility by empowering the consumer to pay for the hours that they spend there in the mindset rather than paying for coffee. At an innovation level, clearly a disruptive business model and the marketing, essentially, coffee and internet for free. 
Moving further, just like FMCG brands, even an entertainment today is an everyday need. Over the years, the need for entertainment has never slowed down. But the mediums have seen a wave of change, right from the time to home videos, VHS players, to portable CD players, to cinema and multiplexes, to entertainment on TV, to DTH, and now content on demand. So what have each of these mediums done clearly? These mediums have nudged and created space in the category with the need of entertainment, but they've rebuilt the consumption pattern of the consumers. If home entertainment was about watching a X product at home, portable TV players, uh, CD players gave uh, the youth an opportunity to carry it to a friend's house and do an entertainment together. Cinema and multiplexes made an entertainment destination for families to go out. Entertainment on TV led to cohesive viewing. DTH led to ad-free advertising, watching HD content, and now on-demand entertainment. In the Indian entertainment industry today, on-demand entertainment is the buzzword, you know, through the experience and engagement it offers, led through technology, smartphone penetration, and the internet access. For example, the Ross Nine OTT platform, audiences essentially can enjoy 12,000 plus movies, you know, and much more and original content on the go. Talking about rebuilding for the next generation, what we also did at Eros now is giving the fast-paced life of the uh, customers today, we created a unique offering on the platform as Eros Now Quickie, a category on the platform which offers short snackable content on the go. So for clearly, for brands today in this category, from a marketing standpoint, the challenge is not just about share of mind, but even share of heart. So how do you do that? For which brands clearly need to reflect the aspirations and the beliefs of the audiences and talk to them in the tonality that they best relate to, thereby creating an instant connect with the audiences. For example, social media tools of varied brands today engage with consumers every day and they talk to them as a friend. In the cluttered environment, it is important to take the brand to the consumer and certainly reach through them through mediums which are a part of their daily consumption and not as push. Talking about flexibility, it is important. What the category has been doing is essentially, in the OTT category, free trials, product sampling, is giving flexibility to the consumer to certainly sample the product before they choose the product for use. So prizing the consumer through uh, creating varied experiences will only enable to create brand ambassadors. To sum it up, the generation next has an open mind and the future is looking more exciting than ever before. Are you ready for it? Thank you.